Russia and China reached agreement with Houthis, two countries' ships will not be attacked by group. The Yemen-based Houthi militants have told Russia and China that their ships can sail freely through the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden without fear of being attacked, Bloomberg reported citing sources. People with knowledge of the matter told the outlet that the understanding was reached during talks in Oman involving Russian and Chinese diplomats and a top Houthi political figure. According to Bloomberg's sources, in exchange for promising safe passage for ships, the Houthis want the two countries to provide political support for the rebel group in international bodies such as the UN Security Council. The Houthi rebels have carried out dozens of drone and missile attacks on commercial vessels traversing the Red Sea, disrupting shipping traffic through one of the world's most important maritime corridors. As a result, many major shipping companies have stopped using the Suez Canal and are instead redirecting ships around the Cape of Good Hope in southern Africa. The Houthis have been attacking ships they believe to be linked to Israel in what they claim is a show of solidarity with the Palestinian people in light of the war in Gaza. After the US and UK conducted a number of strikes on Houthi facilities in Yemen, the group said it would now also attack ships affiliated with both nations. In a recent such incident, Yemeni missiles struck the merchant vessel True Confidence in the Gulf of Aden earlier this month, causing the first deaths since the militant group started its attacks. The Houthis claimed the vessel was American. However, according to a Bloomberg source, the ship used to be owned by Los Angeles-based Oak Tree Capital, but a new non-US company had taken it over. A senior Houthi political leader, Ali al Qum declared recently on X that the group's goal is sinking America, Britain and the West in the swamp of the Red Sea. Oh, so true. Oh, so true.